first started to create art when I was three or something. And I just started drawing everything I saw and never really stopped. When I was told that I was losing my eyesight, I thought, oh, well, I can't stop painting. <laughs> I mean, that's just part of me. I can't do it. I was diagnosed with macular degeneration. My ophthalmologist said, I think you've got something that needs attention and you have to go to a different kind of ophthalmologist. And he said, no, I mean now. This could be happening very fast and I want you to have the quickest treatment you can. I love to be with people and I see people in my daily life and I know that I probably know them and I can't, I can't tell who they are. So that's hard. Macular gen degeneration is a leading cause of blindness in the elderly, especially in the Western countries. What happens is you lose the light sensing cells in the back of your eye, the retina, in the center part of your retina. So you end up not being able to read or recognize faces. Every day as a retina specialist, I see so many patients who uh, have gone blind or are going blind uh, and they need uh, therapy. And so you just can't uh, go in to work every day and not do something about it. For the dry macular degeneration, meaning no new blood vessels growing, and it's really very frustrating. It's a progressive disease that we really don't have a good handle on. The wet macular degeneration, meaning new blood vessels growing, we do have these injections from Lucentis and Avastin. They work fairly well. Uh, they do end up giving you some recovery of vision, but yet there are many, many who come to us too late. They've already lost vision, so even these injections don't help them. Stem cells are really intriguing and important possibly in this area because they're these cells that can develop into different types of cells needed in the eye. In our case, we're interested in the retinal pigment epithelium. And then comes the challenge of getting these cells into the eye. So what we do is make these tiny incisions the size of a human hair through the eye wall, get these stem cells which are differentiated into RPE cells onto a platform, uh, a sheet, so to speak, a dissolvable sheet in our case, and slide it underneath through a really tiny incision in the retina to place it in the central part of the vision. Where we are now is we've had a real breakthrough in, in differentiating these stem cells into retinal pigment epithelial cells and put them in preclinical tests. The next step is to see you know, how long do they uh, survive there, uh, how well do they support the existing retina, and once we have a good handle on that, uh, then we can progress uh, to the next step, which gets us a little closer to the clinic. I think the patient is at the center of all of this, uh, and we're very motivated to make this a therapy and also the approach be minimally invasive, and I'm in a position with a lot of great colleagues uh, to possibly make a difference. What I have is, is an inherited disease, so I'm worried about my grandchildren getting this, and uh, I think stem cell research is the hope for them.